Right, so in this video we are going to check out the photos app in mac os so this one is right here now oh, i haven't set it up yet mm, let's go if i so for the photos app it's pretty simple it's uh, again it's uh, these are for the sorting options like we for the different months and uh, days whatever if you have a bunch of photos your main view will always be in library so the near photo will add up in the, towards the bottom the people is uh, the ai kind of first function it's a uh, pretty common uh, in facebook if you've ever been there basically detects so which picture belonged to which person and you know it makes a little college of them so the same thing same principle here it's pretty neat if you have a bunch of family photos and you you can click one person and his uh, that person's uh, photos well, you can see all of them places is just like ge based on geotagging and all that recent which pre which you have uh, recently added or watched now this import function is when you are importing pictures from another um, folder for example downloads if you were to go and grab it add it here it's added and if you go to library you can see that this one uh, pops up uh, towards the bottom so on the top it will be the oldest and the bar towards the bottom it will be the um, newer photos and all you have to do is just drag and drop that's how it works so if i add another one you can see this one is added and if i go to library this one is second one now the third one will be either here or down so you get the idea now import says if you click here these are the ones that i imported so that these are being sorted these were not in the uh in this two, uh already in your uh icloud so you just imported them and they will be uploaded if you choose to sync them right here now for over different media types like which kind of photos you wanted to go share album if you are sharing any of those album uh, to your home network my album will be yours and if you uh, like the albums if you if you were to go and create different uh, folders and albums in the photos uh, app now the one cool thing is i am unable to show you but uh, if you were to go and connect your phone to your mac just like windows it will actually pop up here devices under devices and you can go browse and copy paste you know move the uh, pictures from your phone into your uh, this icloud or uh, uh, macbook now there was an option so let's go with this if you open a window oh sorry if you if you wanted to open a photo you can double click it now it's open there is a nice editing feature is auto enhancement if you click it uh, I don't know if you notice it just brightened it a little bit but that's the automatic effects if we were to go and add it we have a few little extra options available now if you were to go crop it you can crop it to for example let's crop it here just here yeah, a little bit here now before you crop it it is very important it will actually save on the existing file so basically whatever the picture is it's going to be kind of replaced by this picture now not the whole house just this portion of the house this is if the tilt that if you wanted to tilt at a certain angle uh, you can see right there all right double click to get it to no tilt filters are pre filter like if you wanted to you can check what's happening to that picture i don't like any filters i i think they make pictures ugly uh, i'm gonna go with durational one now adjust is if you were to go and do manual settings if you if you're good with it or you're learning go ahead and play around with this now if you were to go and save it like i said make sure that that's the only picture you have make a copy before doing this edit editing but if you are sure what you're doing just click done but don't worry this picture is still in there 
all you have to do is if you were say hey if you if you, somebody does it by mistake maybe your child you can always revert to original so i'm gonna go done and if i go to library you can see that picture is now this one now it's no longer the one picture that with the full full house frame right i'm gonna click and add it again i'm gonna click to revert to original i have the whole picture back so it's extremely neat feature and i haven't uh, come across this feature in windows yet maybe it's there i haven't found it so again if you want to you can go ahead and play in uh, with these settings in here uh, but that's all for this video for this purpose i want to keep every video under 10 minutes uh, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one